Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got an interesting product for all the people who have bought BYD cars recently, and that's a lot of people, because there's a lot of sharks going out and sea lion sevens. So this this fun, this video is going to be about a, um, the, well, probably the budget end of the um, um, EV charging market, and that's a portable EV charger. So I've been sent this, this one from McKelvin. Um, so they're, they're based in Sydney and they sent it to me within like two days. So they've got very quick service and so we're just going to have a look at the charger now. So first of all, you get, it comes in a really, probably the best bag I've seen for a, for a charger. So it's really well made. It's not, not cheap like most of the other, um, charger brands. You got the instructions. Here's, here's the charger, it's what they call a portable charger. And this one is what's called a seven kilowatt, 32 amp charger. So it needs a big powerful plug on the end of it. So you can get it in the five pin, which is the one I have here, or you can get it in the three pin version. This is the industrial plug. These are very, um, they use a lot of current. So, so the cables have to be six millimeter so they're very thick cables and they require a special um, socket installed in your garage, which is basically an industrial socket. You, it has to be installed by an electrician in order to get the seven kilowatts, 32 amps that this charger is able to deliver. So right, straight away, just looking at the charger, it's, it's, yeah, it's fairly, fairly decent. The cable's quite decent. Um, the display's a little bit small but we'll go through that in a minute. And you've got two settings on here. You can do the um, change the current settings. It goes all the way from eight amps up to 32 amps. And you can also delay the start. Um, delayed start's really good if you um, if you want to charge your car, say at 12 o'clock at night when, the, um, when the, um, the cheap tariffs on electricity are on. So you can delay the start here through the charger itself. And this is a five meter cable. And again, the plug is kind of fairly good quality. So it's just the, um, so this is just a single phase charger. And I believe they sell these on Amazon and they're less than, less than 350 or $400, something along that, along that line. The prices may go up and down a bit. And you just get a small instructions here, showing some of the features of the cable. Troubleshooting. Uh, just at the back of the cable, uh, the charger, there's a lot of information about some of the faults it might incur. And this charger also comes with a mount for the, if you want to put the charger on the wall, this is the mount, if you want to mount your charger on the wall, it just goes, goes on like that. And if you want to mount your socket on the wall, it's got this little spring clip here. So. It'll just lock in like that on the wall. So that's another handy little feature. It keeps your cables nice and neat. So for a budget for a budget uh, charger, I think this one's pretty good. Um, this the quality seems okay, and I have tested it with the car, and it seems to work pretty well. So I'm just going to go and plug it in. And I'll show you some more of the um, display on the charger. So one other feature I found about this charger that's uh, very good is that you have the ability to adjust the charger for the for the current. So I charge with solar and the maximum I can get from my solar is five kilowatts. So if I want to run the air conditioning or something or whatever, I have to turn the charger down to like two or three kilowatts. So I, so I can run totally off my solar. So 
what I normally do is go out to the car and I'll go out to the charger if I'm charging and just drop it from five kilowatts down to three kilowatts and then I don't I can run my air conditioning and charge a car at the same time off my solar panels so this is quite easy to just go up to the charger and change the current so here's a, um, a, a power outlet I've had installed in my garage this is the 32 amp one it's actually a three phase one but we're just using the single phase for this for this charger so when you do plug in these these cables make sure you screw this ring all the way in because if this is not screwed in you can get a high temperature um, connection there if it plugs in all the way in so just make sure you always get that screwed all the way in okay so i'm just going to turn the charger on Okay, so, so straight away on display, you can see, so let's just get it focused. So first line is the temperature, which is 23 degrees. And the, um, it has a 12 volt um, power system in, inside it to turn the charger on and off with a delayed start. So it tells you you're getting your 12 volts. And the one on the right hand side there is the F connection. And that one inside there is if it's plugged into a car, I believe. But we're not plugged in at the moment. So at the moment, my power socket's putting out 243 volts. And we're not actually plugged into the car. So you know, I'll show you those displays in a minute. But this is the 32 amp setting. And if we want to change the current, so 6 amps. We can do 6. I'm not sure if it's 8 amps, 10 amps. 13 amps, 16 amps, 20 amps, 24, and <laughs> the one I like to use the fastest one is 32 amps. And with the delayed start time, okay, so I can't really see what that says. It's... So if you look on a charger, um, it tells you how grounding I've reserved it for um, nine hours which I don't want so I'm going to try and get rid of that delay and I can't get rid of the delay okay 12 hours yeah so now there's no delay so now we're going to charge the car at 10 amps and you'll see now so so the charger is registering 2.1 kilowatts going to the car. And if we just go to the car and see what we're getting at the car. So I'm just going to set the charger for 32 amps. And plugged it in the car. So I'm going into the car and see what charge speed I'm getting. It's ramping up so most chargers charge the at 03 at 6.3 kilowatts this one's on 6.2 it's pretty close so that's uh giving it a full charge at 32 amps 7 kilowatts so that's fairly normal i right, just jumped to 6.3 so yeah i have used this charger um, a couple of times already at night time just to make sure everything was fine with the charger and it charged the car perfectly so I'm very happy with the charger. But while I'm in the car, okay, so we set the charger for 10 amps and we're getting 1.8 kilowatts in the car. Okay, so we just started the charger on 32 amps. So we'll see what we're gonna get here. So the highest setting is 6.2 kilowatts into the car. So that's about standard for a normal charger. So yeah, it's just a, 
um, with the BYDs, they don't, they take a little bit less than seven kilowatts at 6.3. So the charger's working well. I have fully charged my car at night and the charger <laughs> worked flawlessly. So it's, yeah, it's, for the for the price that they're asking for these chargers, they're a really good value. So much cheaper than um, others on the market and the quality seems to be very good. So while we're in the car, I'll show you another um, another little uh, gadget I bought, and that's the BYD puddle lights. So here they are. So this is the one I, I I chose for my car. There's a quite a few different designs, but this one I chose this one because it seems to be the brightest. It's the most um, bright light hitting the ground. So um, yeah, I've I actually tried a few different models, and this was the one I found to be the best quality. Some of them uh, have plastic lenses, some of them have glass lenses, and this was the brightest and the sharpest one I could find on the market. So I'm going to Im import some of these. If you're interested in getting these, they're around about $40 a set um, uh, posted to you. And they take about uh, seven days, seven business days to for you to receive them. So if you're interested in any of these sort of products, um, yeah, just have, go and check out my website, carnormous.com, and you'll be able to purchase them through my um, website so yeah i've been really happy with them so they seem to work really well so they actually slide in under the door there hard to, hard to see but the, the light sits in there so you remove the old one and you replace it with this one um it's, if you've experienced it um using the um, screwdrivers to get out plastic clips you'll have no problem getting these out but um, yeah the first time is a bit of a challenge but after that I was able to do pop one out in like 30 seconds so so it's not that hard to do once you know what you're doing so thanks again McKelvin for sending, sending us the charger to review uh, they have an Amazon store and I'll just put the link in for there um, if you use my discount code or purchase code I get a small percentage of, uh, of the sales so um, so if you're interested in this charger um, you can certainly uh, use the discount code uh, and um, when you when you order thanks for watching the video and I hope you I hope you enjoyed seeing a, um, a charger a high, high speed charger in action